Alright, we don't have very much left here. Um, we're currently in room 103 and things are very different, probably because of the nerd death stuff. I can't see a goddamn thing. It is so dark. Okay. I'm not even sure where I am right now. Like, in relation where, uh, as to, like, where I usually am. No, oh wait, no, okay, we're in the pond. I, I, I know now. Okay. So, I think down here? Uh, no. I, I just went the wrong way. What the hell? Ah, here we are. Okay. I think we just figured it out. Alright, so... Um, whatever, th whatever there is pertaining to the concert is gonna be right here. I also have to take care of the, uh, assassin, but obviously it'd be kind of hard to spot him, considering how dark it is, so... Probably should take these guys on first. I really hate that noise. Just freaks me out. Oh, God. Jesus, there's four of them? Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. Okay. Can't see where I am. Are you kidding me, man? Fuck. Oh, what? Come on. All right. Jesus. Okay, so that one jumps. Jesus. Uh. This is fucking impossible. Are you, <laughs> are you... This is crazy. And I'm dead. Well then, um... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, really wow. Um, okay, so one of them jumps, one of them sprints, one of them has like a hammer thing. And I'm not really sure what the other one does. But uh, they all kind of just cluster around you and uh, will stun lock the fuck out of you, just like pretty much every boss in Dread Out. Ah, <sighs> this is gonna be a fun one. I think I just woke up to getting hit. God. Come on. I think I just got one. Alright, so... Oh shit, there's the jumper. He's just kind of wiping out, is all that's happened. <laughs> all that ha that's happening with this guy. He's like jumping at me and failing miserably. It's not cool, it's just really sad. I feel bad for you, buddy. 
Like, this is the guy who goes outside with the Affliction t-shirt on and thinks he's cool. Yeah? You done? Okay. So now we got the last one over here who's spazzing the fuck out, just doing nothing. Hi there. What you doing? Oh, I thought you were a girl before. No, you're just rocking the hair ballad hair. <laughs> Alright then, that was a lot easier that time, now that I understood. You know what, I'll, I'll back off on that one. That was not nearly as unreasonable as I uh, initially thought it was. Um, it was really more so just understanding exactly what's going on with it and how each enemy functions and all of that. So I overreacted. I'll, I'll, I'll be fair on that. That was, that was an okay boss fight. All right, before we go on, uh, I should probably go over the next uh, thing to read, which is the band Coil, um, which is who Nerd Death always listen to. Uh, Coil is the name of a very popular rock band of its day. Uh, they were the next big thing of their era. Well respected for their musicianship, uh, they were an example of musicians who blasted sky high to the stars with a huge bang and suddenly the next moment disappeared out of thin air. Literally. Uh, there was always a rumor going about uh, how they acquired their instant stardom and how they, uh, how they acquired their awesome skills. Uh, that their mastery of their instruments is helped by sacrificing their souls to the devil. Some of their fans never took it seriously and suggesting that, suggested that the rumor circulated out of spite from other musicians. Other poll of their fans base gladly be, uh, welcome wait what the fuck is it okay other poll of their fans base gladly welcome a dark demonic side to their idols are you serious uh one night while on a national tour they were supposed to play a special uh venue on a beach side on the famed annual uh, festival, uh, the lineup was going to be the best there is, the 69 Woodstock of Indonesia. The uh, uh, Sadly, the event was one supergroup short. They never arrived at the de designated town. All major national newspaper published... All major national newspapers published the missing ban as their headline for a week. Good God. Not even a single clue was ever found. Uh, the bus they rode in vanished without a trace and nobody in it was ever found. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'd just be repeating the same shit over and over. It's just good. Good fucking God. Hire a translator. If you're going to sell your game, if you're not releasing it on for free on, whoa. If you're not going to release it for free on game jolt, then hire a translator. God damn it. I took like two steps. So I guess I was like within an inch of getting the static. So where is he now? Yeah, that's right. Take that. Yes. All right, so we took out the other one. And there's nothing there. Okay, but we have a Ghostpedia update. Zook. Um... Alright, little is known about the origin of this mysterious being. Some believe uh, him to be the spirit of an ancient warrior. Quite possibly, he was stranded here from uh, before colonial times. The story that circulates about him is that he's a dark spirit enacting vengeance upon random people without any discriminating pattern. Many say he often uh, appears when it's raining, always very silent and stealth-like, prepared to deliver instant demise towards his victims. He appears with a strange skull mask, uh, carrying a sword on his back that uh, looks similar to a katana, indicating that he's from Japan. Even more strange is the reports that say that on a different period, this ghost takes different forms. The only connections are the mask and the sword on his back. Uh, some written evidence from decades ago suggested that the ghost's figure resembles that of a woman. Uh, another era mentioned the ghost being taller. It's possible that the ghost is actually some kind of shapeshifter. Uh, but another theory concludes that the mask itself is the entity, claiming its victim on different periods of time. All right, well, we're going to go back to the mirror, if I can get past this tree. Uh, we're going to go back to the mirror and go to room 109, I'm assuming, or whatever is at that gate. And uh, after that, I assume we'll be done. All right, sir, any final words before I uh, venture on into 
whatever awaits me. Okay, yeah, thanks for nothing. All right, anyway, uh, let's move on to whatever's going on in this place. Oh, Jesus Christ. Then, then don't face me. It's fine. I don't mind. Whoa! 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 very perplexed. So I just keep moving no matter what? Whoa, okay, shit. God damn it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Trying to get by here. It is so claustrophobic. Jesus Christ. I don't know what that's all about. I'm sorry, like, I just, I'm speechless right now. I have no clue. Ow, ah, you bitch. Get up, get up, get up. Fucking goddammit. Why is the there's a winky face? Why is there's no winky faces in horror games? What are you doing? Oh, excuse me. Oh, did I get you? Shit. Whoa. Oh, okay. That's what you meant by raising the difficulty then. All right, I got you. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Stop it. I don't like that. Fuck. Yeah, you little... <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, God, stop it. No. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Shit. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on getting hit and I'm gonna die before I take her out, so I gotta I gotta get moving. Fuck off, really? Are 
you dead? Well, no, you're not. Whoa. What just happened there? Shit. Where the fuck? Oh, there she is. Jesus Christ. I can't see you. Get closer so I can kill you, please. Where the fuck is she? No, 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 no. Ah. Piss off. Shit. Oh, fuck. Whoa, she's changing color. Also, she's running from me. It sounds like she's saying, help me. Or she's starving. It's one of the two, or both, I don't know. God damn it. This formula ain't gonna work, so I gotta back up. Shit. Alright. Yeah, yeah, it's time to move. It's time to move. Before she kills me. Oh, shit. God damn it. I'm not gonna survive this. Come on! Dude, this is bullshit. Oh, did I get her? Don't you realize what you've done? Holy shit, okay. Not bullshit, never mind. Actually, by the way, um, before... Uh, I'm assuming we're about to get to the end here, so let's go ahead and read this real quick. The Serpent Mistress. Stories have been circulating widely about the existence of a powerful demon who regularly changes shape between a beautiful woman and a scaly lizard-like creature. Awesome. Alright, so what now? Whoa, are you still there? Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. What? I am very confused. Hello? You're not gonna try to kill me again, are you? Please don't. I would, I would very much appreciate it. Wait, were you like protecting people from the red woman? Is that like what it's implying here? Oh. Don't you realize what you Not whatsoever. What the fuck? You are ready. Now go. Prove that you are indeed worth the promise you made to us. Oh, do I leave? Oh, alright. 
Thought I might just like fall off or something. I guess I'm fine. Are these people I know? Not whatsoever. No, nope, none of them. Absolutely not. Okay, fine. Uh, let's continue then. Uh, whoa. Your face is... Um, hmm. By chance, did you die in a fire? Because that, that would explain a lot. It's rude. Shouldn't ask questions like that. Maybe, maybe he's Rorschach. Maybe that's what the deal is. Never know. Alright, so from whatever implication that is supposed to give, it appears as though, essentially, Miss Siska... <laughs> I guess she's not the Red Woman anymore? Like, or, I, I feel like I'm the Red Woman now, uh, or, you know, my character is, and that she's... Actually, I honestly have no idea. I'm not really sure. Maybe she's supposed to be the Serpent Mistress now, I guess? I, I don't know. Because I'm thinking back to Act 2, and I remember... Siska picking up that that baby um, and that you know there was like a little serpent tail that came out of it so it almost implies that like the serpent is the quote unquote daughter of the red woman I'm not really sure I'm not really 100% certain of what it's getting at I'm, I'm probably gonna have to think about this a little bit before I really am definitive which kind of doesn't work for the sort of thing I do with these like credit reviews um, but yeah, so, uh, I mean, it's hard for me to really give any opinions I haven't already about Dread Out, you know, it's just like, it, this is more of the same, you know, and that's, uh, for some people that's great and some people that's not so great. For, for me, it's somewhere in the middle, you know, um, I maintain that this game is very creepy. It has some really fucking good ideas. Um, the people who come up with the like conceptual aspect of Dread Out do a fantastic job. I mean, some really creepy imagery, really creepy sound design. Um, great atmosphere, really great ideas just overall. Um, different looking bosses. Not a, every single boss feel or not feels different, but looks different. The problem I, uh, I have is with the game design and the lack of any sort of vetting when it comes to the English translation. It, it, it really, they did not put anything into that, it seems. They, they kind of, I guess, just had somebody on the team that kind of knew English and they were like, yeah, no, this seems about right. And then they just went with it. And, you know, for, for like a game that's put on Game Jolt or something, or, or IndieDB or something like that, that's fine because it's free. You know, a free game can get away with that because it's free. But a game that you're charging money for, you need to have things be completely literate. You know, it just, otherwise, it just comes off as you not wanting to have put in the funds necessary to make the kind of game that you're wanting to. I don't know. That kind of just really bugged me. And then the game design at times was neat. There were a couple of boss fights that I liked, specifically Nine Nine Tail, I think, the fox. I like that one, even though it did a lot of the same sort of um, stun locking shit uh, that a lot of the other bosses did. It's a very common theme with Dreadout. Pretty much every boss that there is will pull that same sort of thing on you, and it's a bullshit mechanic um, for bullshit boss fights. I don't like it. I don't think anybody likes it. Uh, just because it's cheap. It's cheap and it feels like there, there's nothing you can do to outsmart that. There's no strategy to that. It's just you're getting screwed over. It's like if you were in a in a one of those, um, like if you were playing Street Fighter or Injustice, got, you know, one of those sorts of games 
and the person you're playing against is just mashing X the whole time, or mashing A the whole time, just kick, 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 while you're still down. And there's nothing you can do. You just have to sit there and take it until they decide not to do it anymore. Um, that's how it felt a lot in this game. And it was really annoying. And it really took a lot of the creepy aspects out of it. Because when you start to get frustrated, the part of your brain that like gets immersed in the atmosphere dissipates. Like It, it stops existing. You, you're now going, oh my god, this gameplay is really fucking annoying. I'm pissed off now. I'm not scared. I'm just pissed. And that's really unfortunate. It's like the game design worked directly against the atmosphere it was trying to build. And that's, that's really, I mean, I don't know. That's, it's something that, that I, I guess I'm spoiled with like the really good horror games. You look at a game like Amnesia or Outlast, that sort of stuff rarely comes up. So, so you're clearly immersed in the world completely. Soma is another one. Whereas in this, obviously, it's more gamey than, you know, gamey than those are. But still, if you're going to do that, do it well. Do it well, because if you do it poorly like they did, like Dreadout did, then you're really hurting. You're putting a massive hindrance on the horror element of your game. And that's that's dangerous. You know, it's dangerous uh, in, in the sense that it's going to make a lot of people um, dislike uh, your game just on principle for that matter. For me... I, I'm able to differentiate and go, okay, so this part of the game I hated, this part of the game I loved, so I'm going to come to a, a compromise and go, it was alright. Dreadout Act 1 was alright, Dread Act, uh, Dreadout Act 2 was alright, Dreadout uh, uh, Keepers of the Dark was alright. It was all pretty good. It was like a 6, you know? For all of them, that uh, that's how I felt. Anyway, um... These credits are going on a lot longer than I thought they would. Uh, we'll go ahead and see if there's any like cutscene after. All right, so yeah, that seems to be it. It's just like a little sort of extra credits sort of thing just to um <laughs> just, just I, I don't know it's it's just more colorful i like this i like this uh credits thing more than the other one this is a lot more colorful and fun and cool um and anyway, i'm gonna go ahead and let this run and uh after it's over uh we'll get to the outro so anyway if you guys enjoyed the video please be sure to like and subscribe and all that and i will see you guys next time Come in from anywhere.